Hi everyone, it's Carolyn from True Crime Chat with Mommy Ramblings. I'm here with an update in the Chad Daybell Lori Vallow case. There was some information in court documents this week filed by Rob Wood, prosecutor, that tell us that there may be blood evidence that was found in an apartment that may be connected to JJ Vallow and Tylee Ryan's murder. So that's um, some big news here. Let's take a look. This was in the um, East Idaho News. You might have seen it. If not, let's update in here. All right. Um, and if you've never been to the channel before, welcome. And I hope that you will click on the subscribe button in the lower corner of the screen and become part of the best community on YouTube. Now let's see what's going on here. Okay, so Madison County Special Prosecutor Rob Wood filed court documents on Tuesday in the Chad Daybell, Lori Vallow Daybell case that have some very interesting information in them. Contained in these documents is information that law enforcement investigators conducted DNA testing on tools that they seized from Chad Dable's property along with a possible blood sample found at an apartment. Now it's not specified whose apartment. We can speculate it might be Lori's or um, her brother's, Alex's, I don't know. But we would say, I mean, think that, but we don't know for sure. Rob Wood filed this motion because it, he was responding to one that was filed by Chad Dable's attorney, John Pryor, along with Lori's attorney, Mark Means. The defense attorneys asked Judge Stephen Boyce for an expedited hearing in regards to TNA testing being conducted by investigators, okay? But that was postponed and that is so that Rob Wood and the defense attorneys can get this information that they're asking for from the state lab so they can possibly reach an agreement on this issue. The postponed hearing was scheduled after John Pryor asked Judge Boyce to order the prosecution to do the following. One, not pursue any testing on remaining DNA samples until the defense can obtain half of all samples for their own testing. Two, provide all records, reports, and documentation related to testing that has already been performed. Three, allow the defendant's DNA expert to go directly to any lab to review, copy, photograph, and document procedures that will be done in the future or have been done in the past. And four, provide to the defense any and all evidence related to DNA testing in this case. Rob Wood responded by stating that the investigation into the deaths of Tylee and JJ is ongoing and any evidence in his possession has already been provided to both defense attorneys, John Pryor and Mark Means. I quote Rob Wood saying, when updated or new discoverable reports are received, they will be given over to both defendants on an ongoing basis. Since the investigation's inception, numerous items of evidentiary value have been collected, many of which are suitable for forensics analysis and testing. The reports reflecting the seizure of these items have been produced to the defense. Now, Rob, Wood also referenced one report about the seizure of tools that are taking a long time to test, and this is because of the pandemic delays and backlogs at forensic laboratories. And I quote again, on April 12, 2021, the state received the results of DNA analysis of debris found on tools that were seized from Chad Dable's property, Rob Wood said. The state also learned that some samples obtained from the examined items were possibly suited for DNA analysis, but that those samples were of such size and quantity that the testing process itself would consume the entirety of the samples. Rob Wood on April 18th said that he received another report from the state lab regarding a possible blood sample from an apartment that would require consumptive testing to test the DNA. Rob did not specify which apartment the sample came from, but Lori and her brother Alex lived at separate apartments in Rexburg, we know that, 
when the children disappeared September of 2019 and that very night remember little JJ had been taken to Alex's apartment and back down to Lori's apartment and all of that craziness that ensued that night three days after receiving the report about the blood sample found in the apartment Rob Wood said that he sent the lab results to the defense attorneys, along with a letter saying that he planned to ask the state lab to perform testing. And I quote Rob again, both defendants wrote the state and told the state that they objected to this without their experts having a chance to review the materials. On April 22nd, the state sent the defense an email informing them that due to their request, the state would not appeal immediately seek the consumptive testing and ask the defense to send the state the names of their experts within 14 days. The state offered to facilitate the defense experts access to and examination of the sample in question. Rob Wood said that he is entitled to test evidence to achieve a fear, excuse me, a fair and just result and noted that forensic testing is common. Rob continues to say he has no objection to the defense experts examining items in evidence within a reasonable timeline established by the court. The prosecution has a certified and accredited forensic laboratory ready and able to perform analysis without cost to either party once the defense examination of the samples and questions have been completed. Should defense experts be able to arrange an appropriate protocol for observing the testing procedures agreeable to the state's experts, the state will agree to those experts observing the testing processes. During Wednesday's hearing, Rob would agree to hold off on any testing that would be complete that would completely consume evidence until information is received from the state lab. Both parties could then work out an agreement or request that Judge Stephen Boyce resolve the issue. So there you have it. Um, that's some interesting news. Okay, so they do have a blood sample in the apartment. Now you might say, or they may argue that, oh my gosh, the kids live here, right? We don't know how much blood was there, right? We, we don't know that. We don't know the quantity. If it is a very small amount, you know, I'm just thinking they're going to say, come on, you know, this is an apartment. I don't know where it was found, okay? Could it have been previous tenants, first of all? If it matches JJ, right? If it matches Tylee, well, they live there. If it's just a small amount, little boys are always scraping their knees. You know, they have bloody fingers, toes. We know, those of us that raise kids, especially boys, and I should say girls too, come in. They fall off bicycles, lots of things. So I think if it comes back to be a small amount of blood, well, you know, we're going to look at something like that saying, well, prove it, prove that it, you know, has anything to do with the murder of these children. But, you know, I think also if it was a huge amount of blood, like in the Gannon Stout case, we would have heard about this blood evidence. So I don't know, unless this blood evidence is taken from not you know, the carpet or the bathroom floor, or if it would be have been taken from a blunt object or something that could have been used or is even shown to be used on on the victims. You know, you know what I mean? So I don't know, um, but I think it's uh, more than we've seen before in this case. And maybe it's the reason that we heard months ago that more charges would be filed on these two, and we're talking about murder charges. So if they could link up these, the tools, the blood on those tools, which we hadn't heard, to that blood in the apartment, yeah, then maybe we're going to see a difference in the charges. And... Um, You know, that would be one step further to getting justice for Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. That's all I have for you folks on this. Um, you can put any questions or any additional information in the comments. 
Thanks for watching. Be on later tonight, and we'll discuss this if you want and more. Okay, hope to see you there. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.